quickly in an emergency can be a matter of life or death. And for Portland firefighters, that means navigating tight neighborhood streets and traffic with their big trucks. Tonight, Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier goes behind the wheel to show you what it's like when every second counts. Responding to emergencies out of the busiest fire station in Portland. I like to be up high. Firefighter Kurt Stevens is a backseat driver way back. The back end definitely rocks. So when we hit the bump, I look for the cab, and when the cab dips, I get ready. He's specially trained to steer the back of a tiller truck. There are six of these trucks strategically placed throughout Portland. They're kind of a, a hardware store on wheels. They carry all the tools, the uh, special equipment for rescue, extrication. Like the Jaws of Life, a tight turning maneuvering machine designed to navigate narrow neighborhood streets. When we get into um, a tight spot with cars on both sides of the road, um, where we have to come off of a side street and then make a turn onto a narrow alley or a street that's lined with cars. It really helps out there, too. The truck basically is in two pieces. Correct. Uh, the trailer is connected to the tractor. It's called a fifth wheel connection, so it's basically a, a pivoting assembly on the, the back of the tractor. This older model is used for training to practice navigating and anticipating traffic, turns, and responses to a whole slew of sensations. But sometimes it, it can feel like a slingshot depending on the driver. So how hard is it to do this job back here? Well, they decided to let me see for myself. And the trick is I'm going to want to steer opposite of the way we're turning. Is Initially. That right? And then you're going to want to crank back so that you're not swinging too far wide when the when the turn is complete. You have your seatbelt on? I do. It's a heavy duty one. <laughs> In a large parking lot. All righty. I give it a shot. So he's going left, so I want to go right. Oh, that is weird being opposite. <laughs> it's almost like you can't watch him. Correct. You're you're kind of doing your own thing back here and then to to come to neutral, you want to turn to the left. I quickly learn there's no brake in the back. You're married to what the guy in the front is doing, and you can tell him to slow down around curves, but you have to be ready for anything that the, the, the front end driver is giving you. So the driver gives it some gas. Come back to the right some more. Perfect. We'll get one of the training officers to sign you off. <laughs> Watch out, Portland. <laughs> Firefighters hope showing you the road from their perspective will discourage some of the traffic frustrations they sometimes run into on the way to real emergencies. When they don't pull over or when they pull over into the left lane and then stop right in the middle of the road. It takes a lot of room for us to get through. And the more, the more room you can give us, the safer it is. Uh, so just make sure to pull to the right. From fires to medical emergencies, getting there quickly can save lives. And in the end, that's what drives Firefighter Stevens. Reporting for you in Southeast Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6. So that